If you're like me and you own a couple of Atlas locomotives and you've had them for a while, you'll probably recognize this right here. Spotty pickup, not running very well over turnouts and stuff like that, especially dead frog turnouts, being very, very sensitive to dirty track. Well, this is a common problem with Atlas locomotives, and I'm going to show you how to fix it so that your Atlas locomotives run just like they're supposed to. The problem with these locomotives is just the style of pickups that they have, right? Here you can see that they're in the actual sides of the trucks, and that's a really nice design because you can't see them, but then all the oil from the gearboxes seeps down and gets into the contacts, thus prohibiting contact with the wheels, and in turn prohibiting contact with the track. First thing that you're going to want to do is just take apart the locomotive by removing the draft gearboxes on each end and then carefully removing the shell. Then you're going to want to take the trucks apart. There are four little tiny clips on each side of the truck that you have to slowly pry out and then you can lift the bottom of the truck off and then the side frames will just fall out. Of course, you want to be really careful with this bottom plate and those little clips on each end of it because they are easy to break, so if you bend them too much, they'll just snap off and then your truck could be ruined. So I would definitely be careful. Here you can see the track pickups. You're just going to want to remove them off of the wheel sets and you can just do that by pulling on them. And you can see where the wheel sets go into the pickup and that's our main problem right there. We need to clean out that area, clean off the tips of the axles, make sure that everything is cleaned off really, really well. And then I'm also just going to solder the contacts in instead of using the little plastic clip that's included. That's just a personal preference because the plastic clips sometimes do fall off. To clean off all the contacts and the tips of the wheel sets, I just use a cotton swab and just try and get all that oil and grease off of there so that it's not blocking the contacts in between the wheels. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use an emery board to clean off the very tips of the brass contacts because they've gotten tarnished over time and you really want to make sure that that's very shiny. And then I'm also going to use a needle file to clean out the inside of it where the actual wheel set sets. This is another thing that you want to be kind of delicate with because these contacts are brass, so they're uh, easy to bend. But if you do bend them, they're pretty easy to fix. You can just put them in a vise and then bend them straight. After that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the little plastic clips with a pair of tweezers and then just use a little bit of solder to solder the wires on. Again, this is just a personal preference. I don't like the little plastic clips because I think that they're unreliable. But this is not a required step. I was about to reassemble the locomotive when I saw this. This is the inside of one of the truck side frames and it's covered in gear grease. So you just want to make sure that that's cleaned off really, really well. I would not use rubbing alcohol on the sides of the trucks because they are painted and this specific model is lightly weathered and that would strip all of that off. So don't use rubbing alcohol on that, but you can pretty much use rubbing alcohol everywhere else. To reassemble the truck, you first want to grab the contact, make sure that it lines up with the wheels, and then put the side frame onto the truck and then hold both side frames tight to the truck so that you can put the cover for the truck back on.
I'm just going to quickly do the other truck, and then we can test it and make sure that it runs really, really nice. Another fix for this would be to put a Keep Alive in the locomotive, but those are horrendously expensive because they're new technology. They're like $50 for a decent one, and they're massive, so there's really nowhere to put them in a locomotive. So if you like to do Keep Alives and stuff like that, that would be another option, but I find that this is way easier. By just taking care of your locomotives and making sure that they're nice and clean, they can run well for a very, very long time. I wouldn't over-lubricate your locomotives, as everybody will say, because that'll just make the problem worse with Atlas locomotives. There's nothing really wrong with the locomotive, and I would not say that this is a reason that you shouldn't buy Atlas locomotives, but if you are buying Atlas locomotives, this is definitely something to think about, because it is a bit of a process. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below if you like videos like this.